Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, where I swear by my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. Uh, today we are working on the achievement, uh, it's a meta called Hail to the Chef, so completing it will get you the chef title. And, uh, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You're gonna get about 120 achievement points as well, which is really nice. Um, nice, somewhat simple way to get them. This this one is a pretty is pretty intensive for a couple of them, um, Outland Gourmet and Northrend Gourmet especially. Uh, so let's uh, start from the beginning. So the first one, Grandmaster Cook. Um, you need to get, uh, okay, where are we? Here we go. Um, 450 skill points in cooking, which is the uh, Wrath of the Lich King max. So um, right around the time you hit 80, grind up your cooking as you go or whatever, um, you can get this one pretty easily. Again, if you've done any, um, if you have a character that's in mists already, um, there's an easy way to power level your cooking up through the cooking trainer that's um, in the tillers area. So you don't necessarily have to go through all the various steps like us older players have. Um, okay, and the next one, kicking it up a notch. This one you need to do all four of the Rock's cooking dailies in Outland. And he's a goblin, and he is located in the lower city. Uh, where are we here? Right on this edge. He's somewhere around in this area. Just fly around the lower city area. Goblin, he's got a big ogre friend, and uh, he'll have a blue exclamation point over his head. Uh, yeah, there's four of them, um, and when you finish the quest, you'll get to pick between a barrel of fish and a crate of meat. Um, if you've done a few of them already, uh, you may have gotten cooking recipes from those. If not, when we get to the Outland Gourmet achievement, um, well, I'll, I'll get to it, and uh, you can see which ones drop from which of the crates. Uh, the next one is Second That Emotion, and that is to cook each of the emotion foods. Um, these drop from Wrath of the Lich King dungeons, both regular and heroic, and off mobs all over Northrend. Um, this, however, this achievement is only to eat them, not necessarily to make them. Um, you, it's a good idea to make them. You will need them. It, you'll get four of you, four of them down for the uh, Northrend Gourmet achievement. Uh, but again, if you aren't, if you don't want to work on that part, just that you just need to eat them. You don't necessarily have to have the recipes for this one. Uh, the next one is our daily bread. Here we go. Um, and that one is to do each of the cooking dailies offered, okay, so offered um, and wherever you're in is in Dalaran. So this is the Alliance one. The Horde one, I don't remember what uh, the Horde person's name is, but it's the, I think it's the exact same, they're the exact same dailies. Um, and yeah, they're all really easy, you don't have to go very far, unlike the Outland ones. Um, some of them you can even just stay right in Northrend, or in, right in Dalaran, rather. Uh, the next one is sous chef, which is to learn a hundred uh, recipes. Sorry, I'm trying to find it here. Um, so here we go. This is this is the one you need. I pointed at the screen. You can't see me pointing at the screen. Uh, it's this one, sous chef, learn a hundred. So once you learn that, it's really really easy. Um, just leveling up your cooking in general. If you did it kind of the old-fashioned way, and you go around to all the trainers and you learn all of them, you'll get it super quickly. As you can see, I have the top one, which right now is uh, 240, but getting 100 is really, really simple. Uh, the next one is the Outland Gourmet. I'm going to turn my page here. This one is tricky. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this one took me quite a while to get. As you can see, it was the last one I got uh, before I got... The last one I got before I got the uh, Hail to the Chef achievement. So this one took me the longest, mainly because... Um, it took the longest for me because there aren't as many as there are for the Northrend ones, but I hit my first endgame in... Wrath of the Lich King, so I did all of the dailies quite regularly. Um, I didn't do that in Outland. I was still leveling up a character when um, Outland... I started playing a few months before Wrath came out, so I I never really did any of the Burning Crusade endgame stuff. Um, so I'm going to basically explain to you quickly how to get each of these recipes. Um, you need to cook all of them uh, for this one. There aren't as many. For the Northrend one, you need to cook 45 of however many there are. I'm going to tell you how to get all of them anyway, but... Uh, we're going to work on this one first. So um, they're kind of, I'm, I've divided them up into categories. Um, the first one is ones that you get from the cooking daily. Uh, so again, when you do the cooking daily, uh, you get either the barrel of fish or the crate of meat. Um, for most of these, it doesn't matter which one you pick, it has a chance to drop from 
either of them, um, but a couple of them you only drop in a specific one, so I'm going to talk about those first. Uh, broiled bloodfin and skullfish soup, the recipes only drop in barrel of fish, and spicy hot talbuck only drops from crate of meat. But Kibler's Bits, Storm Chops, and Delicious Chocolate Cake will drop off of either of them. Delicious Chocolate Cake one is really rare, and you need to make it for a, another achievement, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, the next one is, uh, the next category I have is Hellfire Peninsula. So the first one um, is Buzzard Bites, and that one you get from doing the quest Smooth as Butter, which is in, you get from the Zeppelin Crash, which is right over here. It's just south of Honor Hold, but it's a goblin, um, so Horde can do this quest also. Uh, and then Ravager Dog, you buy from the... Actually, I should just leave my map open. Ravager Dog, you can get from... Come on, I'm sorry. Uh, you can get from your cooking supplies guy or food and drink guy, um, Alliance and Honor Hold and Horde, Horde in Thalmar. Um, next category is Zangermarsh. And Zangermarsh, um, there's a few that you can get. Uh, Felltale Delight, you can get from... Food, again, most of these you're going to get either from an innkeeper, a supply vendor, a trade goods, or a general goods, a tra or trade goods, um, a food and drink vendor, or, I think I said innkeeper already, but those kind of people. So you're looking for people that it would kind of make sense for them to sell. And if it wouldn't make sense for them to sell, I will stick it here. Uh, so Felltail Delight, Horde, you get from the Swamp Rat Post. Alliance, you get from Orobor Harborage. I should note, you need to have the Kurunai 2 at least neutral. You start with them being unfriendly, but if you do any questing in Zangarai, you'll get them to uh, neutral very, very quickly. And yeah, you can just get them from there. Uh, Blackened Trout, Alliance again in Orobor Harborage. Horde, you need to go to Zabrajin. Uh, the Clam Bar, you need to get from the Sporagar Quartermaster. Um, you don't need to have any particular reputation with them, but you will need one glue cap. Um, blackened sporefish you get from the fishing trainer or fishing vendor, whatever, just south of Cenarian, the Cenarian Refuge. Um, again, you don't need any particular reputation, you just need to find the fishing trainer, which, whatever, doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. Uh, the next zone we're going to do is the Terracar Forest. Um, these come from two or three different vendors but they're in the same city and again you're looking for either the innkeeper or the supplies guy general supplies food and drink uh, all of the alliance ones will come in alarian stronghold all of the horde ones will come in stonebreaker hold and the recipes that you get there are blackened basilisk golden fish stick warp burger and spicy crawdad uh, off to nagrand and in nagrand uh again these all come from the same guy and they all have the um subtitle uh cooking supplies or cooking vendor and Alliance will be in Talar and Horde will be in Garadar. And that is poached bluefish, roasted cleft hoof, grilled mudfish, and talbuck steak. Uh, Blade's Edge is the next zone. And same areas. Um, Horde, there is a quest you can do. I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. Um, and you get both of these cooking recipes. Alliance, um, there's a vendor that sells them in Ruin Weld, right here. Um, only has one on them at a time. There's another vendor that sells them, but you need to hit a certain reputation to get it, I believe. So uh, your best bet is to just go here, and since Burning Crusade is like three expansions old now, um, you're not going to have that part of a time getting them, I don't think. And those ones are the Mock Nathal Short Ribs and the Crunchy Serpent. Or if you don't want to do the figure out what quest it is, um, you can just come here and buy them too. And then the last category is the ones that you get just from a trainer, and it's any trainer, it doesn't have to be a Northrend specific one, um, you can get them from any trainer, and that is hot buttered trout, stewed trout, and the fisherman's feast. So that takes care of Outland Gourmet. The next one we're going to do is the cake is not a lie, which is to bake, wow I'm laggy, sorry, which is to bake a, delici bake a delicious chocolate cake. Um, again, the recipe comes off of one of the Outland cooking dailies. Um, in either the barrel of fish or the crate of meat. Um, yeah, and for this one, it's not just to eat it like it is with the uh, second that emotion achievement. You need to actually bake it yourself. Okay, Northrend Gourmet. Northrend Gourmet. Again, I don't know why I'm lagging. I'm very sorry. Wow, this is really bad. Okay, that's better. That's weird. Okay. Um, yeah, really badly lagging. Sorry, okay. So you need to cook, the North Northrend Gourmet goes in three steps. It's to cook 15 of the recipes, then 30, then 45. 
Um, the one you need for the achievement is the 45 one. Um, and I can't look at them, so we're just going to leave this open here so you can see them. Um, and these ones, I've got four different categories, so we'll start. Um, the four that you need for the second that emotion, again, you only need to eat it for that one, but it's helpful if you can cook them. Um, these recipes drop off of various dungeons or mo um, various heroic or regular dungeons in Northrend and any mob, really, in Northrend. And those are Bad Clams, Haunted Herring, Last Week's Mammoth, and Tasty Cupcake. Uh, the next category I have is quests, and there are two that you get via quests. There's northern, uh, the northern stew you get from a quest called Northern Cooking, and that one you need to bring four chilled meat to whoever gives you the quest in either your starting zone, your starting city in Howling Fjordabori and Tundra, and that applies to both Alliance and Horde. Uh, and then the other one you get via quest is Kungaloosh. Kungaloosh, you need to do the all of the Nezingwari quest chain in Sholazar Basin. And then once you've done that, you go back to Dalaran, you go to the underbelly in the sewers, find the washed up mage, and I don't remember if it's an achievement, if it's a just a hand in, um, like a vendor, or if you actually need to do a quick little quest for him, but he gives you the Kungaloosh recipe. Um, ones that you train, so you can go to any cooking trainer, uh, the Dalaran clam chowder, grilled bone scale, poached nettlefish, rhino dogs, roasted warg, shovel tusk steak, smoked rockfin, worm delight, baked manta ray, great feast, Grilled Sculpin, Mammoth Meal, Pickled Fang Tooth, Sautéed Gobi, and Smoked Salmon, all you can train. And then the rest of them all cost um, tokens, the Epicurean Awards, which you get from doing the cooking dailies. Um, all but one costs three. The Fish Feast costs five, but the rest of them all cost three. So that's Blackened Dragonfin, Critter Bites, Firecracker Salmon, Gigantic Feast, Imperial Manta Steak, Mega Mammoth Meal, Snapper Extreme, Spiced Worm Burger, Spicy Fried Herring, Tender... Shovel Tusk Steak, story having a hard time reading my writing. Uh, very Burnt Warg, Blackened Warg Steak, Cuddle Steak, Dragonfin Filet, Fish Feast Again says is five. Uh, Hardy Rhino, Mighty Rhino Dogs, Poached Northern Sculpin, Rhinolicious Worm Steak, Small Feast, Spiced Mammoth Treats, Spicy Blue Nettlefish, Trackers, Tracker Snacks, and Warg Tartar. Um, so to get this one, you are going to need to do cooking dailies to get a lot of these recipes. Um, as far as I know, the recipes are by non pickup, so you won't find them on the auction house. Uh, the next one is Critter Glitter, which in ten, three minutes or less, you need to, using the Critter Bites, you need to coerce ten critters to be your pet. And the best way I found to do this was go to a zone where there are a large amount of critters. So you can go to Howling Fjord for the turkeys, um, find a glacier or a little, a little iceberg in the southern, um, the southern coast of Northrend and where there's like a big stack of penguins, you can do that. Um, so just find an area where there's a really heavy concentration of critters and then just put, uh, either make a macro or put it on your action bar so it's a number, so you can just click a critter and then hit a number, click a critter, hit a number, click a critter, hit a number. Uh, the next one is Dinner Impossible, and that one is to do a great feast in each of the battlegrounds listed below. Now the great feast you train spell and that one requires for one of them you get two chilled you need two chilled meat a worm meat a chunk of mammoth and a shovel tusk flank all north run stuff um you need to make five of them and you need to put one down right at the beginning is fine in alterac valley warsong gulch i the storm rathi basin and strat the ancient so all the original battlegrounds i guess you could say before they started adding them um and then the last one i think maybe Yes, the last one is Captain Rams Rumsey's Lager. Um, so you need to just brew up some of it. So it's just again to cook it. Um, Captain Ramsey's Captain Rumsey's Lager. I have Ramsey on here. Um, the recipe comes from the bag of fishing treasures from the Shatrath fishing dailies. So if you go to Outland. Um, Terracar Forest, and the fishing guy is right here, I believe. Now they're right here, he's right here, I think he's right here. And uh, he has four, five, five, I think, different fishing dailies, and each time you complete one, you get a bag of fishing treasures, and this has, this recipe has a chance to drop. Um, I don't know that you can find this one on the auction house, but that's how you get it. So, uh, doing all of this will net you about 120, 130 achievement points and the idle chef, which is a nice one to have. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined and leave your comments in the comments with ideas and suggestions. Have a beautiful day.